My people, Miss Ace here. This video is for Math 1 students. We are on the lesson 1 6 relations. So, we're going to finish the note today. Uh, please take out your packet. So, last time we talked about domain and range, x and y value table. Uh, we do mapping. And then I give you the set of points. You're going to represent that these, this set of point by three different methods. Okay. Then the practice. Then we'll talk about independent and dependent. The x value is the independent because you choose what <coughs> excuse me. You choose what x to plug in and then the y value depend on what you plug in for x. So since domain is the x value, it's leading to domain is independent and then range is dependent. Okay. I just realized I misspelled the independent. And then we talk about this scenario, okay? So um, since we're gonna go over the practice right now, so I'm gonna skip this part. I'm gonna explain it to you down here, okay? So this practice number seven, you need to determine what is dependent and what is independent, okay? Independent, and this one is dependent. All right, so let's read the problem. The air pressure inside of a tire is increases with, sorry, the air pressure inside a tire increases with the temperature. Okay, so two things that we're talking about is the air pressure inside of a tire increases with the temperature. So that's two things that we compare, air pressure and temperature. So who depend on who? Is air pressure depend on the temperature or temperature depend on the air pressure? So the qu the answer is the air pressure depend on temperature. So when the temperature is uh, hot or it increasing, the air going to be exp the air going to expand, and then when it's cold, the air going to condense. So temperature will be independent, and air pressure depend on temperature. Independent is temperature. And dependent is the air pressure. Air pressure depends on the the degree of temperature. Okay. All right. Next one. Uh, independent and dependent. Okay, so the question, the the scenario was, as the amount of rain decreases, so the does the water level of the river. As the amount of rain decreases, so we talk about amount of rain, so the water level of the river. Okay, so there's two things that we comparing right now. We talk about the amount of rain and water level. So who belongs to who? Will the amount of rain depend on the water level? Or the water level depend on amount of rain? Okay. So more rain, the water level will increase, right? So the amount of rain is independent. The water level depend on the amount of rain. So water is dependent. Water level. Depend on the amounts of rain. <coughs> of rain. Okay. All right, next one. Independent and dependent. Okay. The number of calories you burn increases at the number of minutes that you walk increases. The number of calories that you burn increases 
as the number of minutes that you walk increases. So the number of calories that you burn, you burn, increases at the number of minute. So number of minute that you walk increases. So who's depend on who? <coughs> the number of minutes that you walk depend on the number of calorie you burn. Or the number of calorie you burn depend on the number of minute that you walk. Of course, the more you walk out, is more calorie you're gonna burn. So calorie depend on the minute that you walk. So the number of calories calories you burn depend on the number of minute that you walk. The number of minutes that you walk. All right. All right, that's it. <clears throat> Number five, or oh, sorry, problem 10. Analyze the graph, okay? So they give you a graph, they try, they ask you to interpret what it means, okay? So the graph represents the distance Francesca has written on her bike. Describe what happens in the graph. So this graph about uh, Francesca ride a bike, right? And there's two uh, components, two things that you need to pay attention on, uh, the times and the distance. Okay, this graph between times and distance. So what do you think? So this graph, we have three main sections this one, the slope right here, and then we have the line that's going sideways, and we have the line that's going up again. Okay, so let's look at section number one. Let's break it down, section one. Okay, so what can you tell about number one? So as time increasing, right, is go toward this side, the line going this way, so as time increasing, the distance increasing. So she, uh, time and distance, they didn't specifically tell you where's the distance stand for. I believe it's distance from zero, zero. So I believe that he, she, leave it, she left from her house to go somewhere. So as time increase, uh, the distance increase. Uh, we're gonna say Francesca. Um, we're gonna make up a, a story. Uh, write, write a bike, a bike to her friend's house. Her friend's house. Okay, that's just one of scenario. She can go to the bookstore. She can go to school. So I just make up something. She go to her friend's house. Okay, uh, as time increase. As the time increases, sorry, increases. Wait, let me rewrite this really quick. The distance away from home away from home increases okay so that explained the the red part now the blue part how do you explain the blue part so as time increase right the time changing but the distance didn't change so how do you make that up what does it mean okay so when time go by and you didn't move forward if you say the traffic light, that's correct. So uh, she stopped. She stops at the traffic light. Traffic, traffic light for a few minutes. Or whatever you like to make up, a few minutes. Uh, you can say, oh, she stopped at the library to check out a book. So as time go by, but the distance didn't increase. Okay. 
and then the green part is as the time go by the distance increasing increasing so then uh, she continue her path continue her path okay to her friend house that's it okay so um, number 13 and 14 is your turn I want you to uh, make make up a scenario for this okay that's that's basically there is multiple correct answer okay there can be wrong answer but there's multiple correct answer so it just have fun create something for number 13 and 14 okay. so uh, pause the video try it out otherwise stay with me I'm gonna walk you through it okay so we're driving to school time and distance so it's kind of the same scenario is there Francis Francesca uh, riding a bike so now you drive to school there is a few sections so we have this part as time increase the distance increase and then there's a stop and then it's keep going and then there's a stop again and then it's keep going okay so how do you make this up uh, so there's no name so I'm gonna say I okay uh, I drove driving drove I drove to school to school uh, in the morning in the morning so you make up something right morning uh, so we gotta say as time increase as time increases the distance away from home increases as the distance away from home increases from home increases okay now uh, I stop for a minute I stop stopped I stopped at a stop sign okay it looked really short okay and then continue so I, I'm at this section right now now continue then I continue going to school going to school now with a slower traffic with a light traffic why a light traffic why is the light traffic there okay so as you see that the first uh, section of the line that is really steep in a short amount of time you go really uh, far away from home and then certainly the time go longer but the distance is shorter so there's a traffic right there okay and then I stop we stop <coughs> then oh I stop at the traffic light so that is the this section right here then I stop I stop at the traffic light at the traffic light okay uh, after that I continue going to school light then I continue going to school so it's still continue going to school uh, to school it's still that there's a traffic there right because as time increased the distance also increase slowly compared to time all right number 14 okay it's really hard to write on this one number 14 now when you try it out uh, I can tell you the scenario you can write it down or you can um, all the well I cannot say all answer is correct answer but if you answer similar like this you good so this one is about the changing in income right so a time and an income so the money that you earn so in short amounts so as time increase 
your income increase and then in a short amount of time so I would say it's around Thanksgiving let make up oh I'm let make up something here uh, uh, example uh, I'm working at McDonald okay oh uh, no I'm working at uh, Starbucks so as time increase my income increase so in a short amount of time probably Thanksgiving right here people start to go to Starbucks more often so in a short amount of time the income certainly increase okay and it stay so during that month the holiday uh, as the time increase your income also increase after that is have a break so where is the time go by but the income stay still it didn't go down it didn't go up but since it's still in the season so the income still increase or if you're talking about promotion so uh, as the beginning of the job as time increase your income increase through year and certainly you get a bonus so you uh, because of inflation so everything rise up for a certain amount of percent so that is the second part when your income certainly increase and it steadily increase as the original part so uh, in professional job you expect to earn some extra um, you have a raise every year based on your year of experience okay so it's increasing through year and then for some reason time go by and your income didn't increase uh, and then it's continue increasing okay all right so that's it for today uh, I'm sorry not that's it for today you're gonna go uh, you're gonna take the material needed material you need a scissors you need a uh, a paper with coordinate okay which I printed out for you and a black sheet of uh, card stock okay and a thumbtacks okay we're gonna work on the activity which have all of those okay I will see you in a second